everyone. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. Good evening. Whatever best is for your time zone. <laughs> <laughs> Put it like this. I can see my picture out there, Isabella. Yeah. <laughs> I <laughs> love purpose. this picture. <laughs> it's the most recent one that we have from the young water professionals in a conference. I do, right? <laughs> okay, so I have all the names here. For your candidate, you are already co-host, so you can admit some people as soon as they join in. We still have some time because they're joining. Okay. So for those that already joined it, I will take this from here so I can move my slides. <laughs> I will invite you all to go to this link and fill up the survey that we have. So you can scan the code and provide some answers. If you're joining from your laptop, so take your phone, mm -hmm. scan the code, go to camera, put it on the barcode. I guess mm -hmm. everyone knows uh, familiar with the QR code. <laughs> so just <laughs> go on the QR code, take a picture of it, and then the a link will pop up. Mm -hmm. And all you need to do is just answer the question. Exactly. And Feel free to use the chat to present yourself, say where you're from, where are you based, uh, your background on water resources. And wow, do you use the chat to connect? This is the opportunity that you have. It. <laughs> and please do mute yourself. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not talking. <laughs> if you're not talking, yes. <laughs> Sweet, I see some uh, people are already mentioning. What is IRC? If you guys don't mind, because I see two people from what from oh, wow. IRC, and I have no clue what does that stand for. <laughs> I think that is Eden. Is it? Uh, yes. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Since when Iran has changed the name? Come on, guys, I was raised in Iran. <laughs> <laughs> sweet, sweet. That's good. We are having. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's by the chapter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's cute. That's sweet. Good I to thought see that the whole enjoyment. country name changed to something like <laughs> probably Islamic Republic of Iran. And then I was like, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pizan is the executive secretary of the Iran chapter. Oh, sweet, sweet. Nice to meet you. And then we have um, a second hit from the YWP chapter in Saudi Arabia. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> that we are looking forward to turning to a branded one. Uh, yes. That's amazing. Yeah, this is Mustaqim. <laughs> hey, Mustaqim. Hi, hi. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. It's great. And we have Anik. I hope that I'm saying that right, guys. My apologies yeah. for uh, reading your names wrong, okay? <laughs> no, that's perfectly fine. It's Anik. <laughs> it's Anik? Okay, yeah. and welcome Anik from Pakistan. Anik is the Anik one with the proposal post. for the oh, chapter. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Fingers crossed for the chapter. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, <laughs> now you got this. <laughs> okay, amazing. And then we have Dana. Then this one is Hal. Also, that's nice. That's amazing. Okay, and we have Pejman from Tehran. Salute. Mm. I, by the way, I was raised in Tehran. Mm. I have a heart for Tehran. <laughs> <laughs> um, for those that already joined it, um, you can use the chat to connect. You can share your social media, your LinkedIn profiles. Feel free to network, engage with other young water professionals from the Middle East region. Yep. Okay. So we have 23 joined, and I think that we have like some 24. Um, 
Nietzsche and Farouk, what do you think? Should we start it? Absolutely. Uh, Let's do it. Let's go. Um, I will send the link to all of you um, so you can keep like sharing um, and participating in the survey. So don't worry about it. You have time <laughs> to go back to this. But we have, we prepared a lot of things for today and we want to make the most um, with this uh, first dedicated regional call on the Middle East region. So uh, some information about your moderators today. You have me, <laughs> Isabella Sp I'm Isabella Spindola. I'm the IWA uh, Membership Engagement Officer responsible for the young water professionals. So yeah, it's from me that you receive a lot of emails. <laughs> I'm the one reviewing all the proposals and giving you all the support um that you needed um to carry on the activities with your chapter and any kind of doubts and questions that you have it regarding iwa and how you can become a member and how we can engage with the young water professional wow it's me <laughs> and then we have nietzsche and farouk i will pass the floor to both of you Thank you so much, Isabella, uh, the pillar of young water professional in IWA. <laughs> um, uh, Niti, do, do it. It's just, okay, I'm talking already, so I'm going to go first. Uh, hello, everyone. Again, this is Farouk. I know most of you can call my name the 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 best way that it could be with the chat. It's Farouk. <laughs> and for those from Iran, Afghanistan, it's Farouk Laval. Okay, so I'm sure you guys know it the best because it is a Persian name. And uh, I am currently the chair of the IWB Young Water Professional Canada. I'm based in Toronto, Canada. And uh, I'm uh, currently also, this you guys are the first time to know this, um, environmental engineer Brown and Caldwell. And uh, I recently just became a doctor. So please feel free to call me doctor. <laughs> And uh, at IWA, my role is coordinating the chapters and uh, helping you guys to form the chapters and meet each other, network with each other, or in general, just uh, leading the initiative of chapter internationally. And I'm going to be talking more about myself later, so I'm going to stop here <laughs> and pass it on to Niti. Niti, Thanks, close your Thanks. Hello, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Neeti and uh, I'm a postdoctoral researcher from India. I'm into molecular biology and uh, with water, I work in wastewater and drinking water microbiology. Um, very recently, I've moved to the US just last month. <laughs> so I've joined the School of Medicine at the University of Virginia and I'll be doing some bioinformatics work here. And uh, I've been a part of IWA for about four years now and it's been an amazing journey yeah, and it has helped me a lot in my career and about which we'll be sharing in this call further. Uh, I also along with Farooq am a chapter coordinator and we've been facilitating uh, today like meetings uh, across various regions and uh, have been connecting with the young dynamic water professionals around the world and I'm very excited for this engagement. I'll also stop speaking there. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, Farouk, and thank you, Nishi, for your presentations and uh, introduction, sorry. So I know that we are all aware after two years and a half of online engagement <laughs> about some rules um, when we are using Zoom. So when um, you are not talking, please remember to mute yourself. Um, you can leave your camera on if you want to. And the only ones that are going to share the screen <laughs> is the Farouk and I. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about it. Um, and you can post questions um, in the chat. And as I mentioned before, feel free to, to share your details, say where are you based, where are you from, and even what you expected uh, with this meeting. And because this is a really good opportunity to connect with other young water professionals in the Middle East. And I hope I really hope that with this meeting, we will create some really good connections with it. This is, I think, the, the main objective with the regional call. So what we prepare for the agenda today, we're having this, we already have this welcome and, and little introduction. Um, we prepared some icebreaker activities. 
And then I'm going to share uh, some information about uh, IWA and the Young Water Professionals Community. Uh, Farouk will give some examples from what is a chapter, uh, her experience in this. And then um, I'm going to show how you can engage with IWA. And then we have some time with like questions and answers for Q&A and uh, open discussions with all the young water professionals. And I know that we have Pakistan here that's preparing the proposal. And then we have the Iran chapter here. Uh, if you want to have some minutes to, to share your experience, please do feel free to add this. And then some closing remarks, <laughs> I'd say. So without any delay, this is the first activity that we have it. So if you can scan the QR code or go to this link here, I will also share in the chat. So just a second, the first one, uh, it's here. Yeah, they're right in the chat and I'm going to stop sharing this and go to the other slides. And then let's see what we have. In. So just go into the, um, the image and just tag where you're based at now. I love these dots. Look at the diversity. We have yeah. people almost from all the countries. Isabella, how does it show? So if uh, like, let's say more people are from one country. Does the circle get bigger? <laughs> or would there be more circles? <laughs> I think that's going to have more circles, a lot of bubbles appearing on this okay, thing. Okay, <laughs> okay. I see some countries are getting just, you know, head and dissolved behind yeah. the circles. <laughs> Which is amazing. Yeah, it is. Oh, this is nice. So we have Saudi Arabia, Yemen, Oman, Pakistan, Afghanistan. Oh, nice. Jordan, Beautiful. Syria. And if you're for a, a citizen of the world, <laughs> you can just pump everything. <laughs> <laughs> just put a dot, I guess, yeah. <laughs> on the white area. <laughs> exactly. So we know and we get back to you. Okay, so we have some but. people from outside the place here. <laughs> I want to be special, different. Yeah, for, for example, myself, I'm I'm representing two countries. I'm Afghan Canadian, so I, I needed a dot in Canada, but <laughs> it just didn't work. But I have a dot in Afghanistan, so still, I'm there. So that's good. That's the same from my side. Like, I wouldn't like one in Brazil, another in Italy, and maybe now one in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. <laughs> In each also, so yeah, we are citizens of the world. Yeah, I was exactly. just about to say that. <laughs> so let me go to the second question that we have. It. And as you're waiting, feel free again to rename yourself uh, with uh, adding your country beside your name. So we know where are you from, what are you talking, okay? Yeah. And, and that goes to myself as well. <laughs> just rename myself. <laughs> oh it's not allowing me to move yeah no it is so the second question that we have for you is what is your interest in this event so what do you expect what you're looking for mm -hmm. is, are we allowed to put few words or one word is a below or a sentence as or... much as you want it okay i'm going to copy paste my thesis because i just yeah. put lots of it for that <laughs> <laughs> maybe you can share the link to to this Sure, sure, I was kidding. No, I'm not going to bore you with that. So someone it's the same uh, link, right? Yeah, it's the same link. Okay, sweet. So someone already replied that he wants to connect with young water professionals in his region. Nice. So, Zakaria, can you reply in the link with the Mentimeter? So we can have your, your answer in the screen that I'm sharing. Oh, sharing our goals, creating new chapters. Great. I think many of us are coming here with uh, similar goals mm -hmm. to create a new chapter to see how it works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and we are receiving some um, in the chat. So connecting with young water professionals and share um, water science, say contributing, developing water science by this connection, 
connecting with young water professionals. So yeah, I think that the objectives are good and it's apply synergy to promote a young water professional. That's good. Yeah. Amazing. Okay, so I will stop sharing this one and we can go to the other one. So I have the link I can you ah yeah I was looking for the link. <laughs> <laughs> and um can you share your screen Nichi? because you're the one with the, the sure. yeah and the question is <clears throat> sorry can you see my screen guys yes, yes. it's loading right okay This loading issue used to be back in Afghanistan where we used to go on the mountain to get signal <laughs> a long time ago. <laughs> and you and USA, Niti, you shouldn't have this problem. <laughs> <laughs> so what we have in terms of questions now is what do you expect as a young water professional? So we have 22 young water professionals here. What do you expect as a young water professional? in general, not only with this meeting, because you already replied to that. <laughs> I guess it could apply from your country on uh, the challenges you have. Yeah. What, what, what are you struggling with and you need? Uh, sorry, is it the same link you provide the answer or can we talk as well? Is the link that I need to just share it in, in the chat. Oh, okay. It's a new link. And I know challenges are a lot, but what do we expect? Professionalism, of course. We want growth. We want connectivity. I love these words. That's good. Thank you. So feel free to uh, uh, have multiple replies. I think uh, you could type in three uh, replies per person. So if you have more ideas. And you can, I, I just realized that you can put as many words as you want. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to be backtracking who's going to put what, okay? So <laughs> don't put silly things. <laughs> um, I needed to say that because once I did this in my class for my student, and oh my God, I saw something that I was like, really? Okay, I need to uh, turn on the, the backtracking. <laughs> <laughs> Dealing with water security and solving crisis. Absolutely, Mohamed Reza. That's really good. I will add this here. Do you see, Isabella Niti, that growth is, is in, in the, the middle? middle. Yeah. yeah. Like everyone is just, we want to grow. <laughs> We're young. <laughs> Learning, opportunity, solving crisis, engagement, uh, empower, work together, networking, connective, knowledge transfer. That's really good. Nietzsche, I think that we can go to the second question. Right. Wait, I need to take a picture since this is very beautiful. Ah, yeah. For sure, dude. Okay, done. Thank <laughs> you. We are recording the meeting, so you can also go back and, and see it. And I, we can get the results and share it with all the participants. That would be great. Thank you. You're welcome. So the next slide, Isabella, do I just go enter? Next. Yeah, you play next one. Can you try moving the, the, the slide? Because um yeah, let me I'm in the presenting mode, so so yes, yeah, so just yeah, um I'll just load the second slide. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, and by the way, if you are on Twitter, remember to follow IWA on Twitter. I will send the link here. And if you want to post something related to to the regional call today, remember to tag us. Okay, sweet. So the last question <laughs> is what is the gap that you want to fill as a young water professional? Yeah, we're aware that everyone's challenges is, are different in their country. And uh, we wanna know here that uh, what do you think is the biggest gap in the water sector in your region? And you have a passion for it to fill it. So we're talking about challenges here. Oh my God, yeah, it's just, it's touching my nerve, the, the, these, these uh, words, especially the gender bias, I, I agree. The climate change, the water governance, yes. 
Yep, adapting innovation. I love that one. Conflict that, resolution. Yep. Between. So many times we come up with all these innovative ideas, but then adopting them, it's a huge challenge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Accessibility. Oh my God. Yeah, that's that's a great word. Yeah. It's nice how there is a lot of awareness around gender equality mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. It's really good. And Zakaria mentioned in the chat the gap between stakeholder and best governance. That's really good. And again, we see a common gap between all of us, although probably geographically we're located in different places, but but the the gaps and challenges that we're all looking forward to fill is the same. It's yeah. And unfortunately, accessibility is a huge challenge in Middle Eastern country and another part of the world. It, it depends, but but I, I was raised in Middle East and I know that this this is a huge challenge. That, young professionals need to work on. That's really good. So another resource planning, best practice, innovation adoption. That's good. Thank you everyone for providing your inputs here. It will help us a lot to identify how we can connect it with yeah, the young water professionals in the Middle East and how we can propose activities focus on these issues that you highlighted to us. So thank you very much for this. So let's go back with our presentation. Thank you, Nietzsche. Presentation slide share. Yes. Chat is here. Participants Lisa are here. And my presentation is here. Perfect. So I know that some of you already know what is um, IWA, what IWA stands for, and what um, we aim to do as a, a network association. So one of the things that I want to highlight is that IWA, we want to be, and we are already a source of knowledge and focus on water solutions, SDGs, the 2030 agenda. And we are working with the young water professionals to create the, this uh, movement, this transformation, focus on innovation process, uh, knowledge sharing, and highlighting the best practice that we have in the water sector. And when I mean the best practice, it's not only, it's not Eurocentric solutions, it's global solutions. So take into consideration the challenges that each of the regions are facing and how we can improve it and create it as a, these solutions for the region. And yeah, we want to empower youth to contribute to sustainable water management. This is part of our vision. And we want to connect the young water professionals. Um, highlighting uh, how they can uh, develop their profession and creating opportunities, engaging uh, then with not only young water professionals, but also seniors um, and different stakeholders in the water sector and recognizing all the work that they are doing uh, for the water sector. And as I mentioned, uh, the young water professionals, they are part of IWA structure. This is just an image to explain how they fit in our structure. So we have the IWA board and we have the national level and the international level. In the national level, we have the country chapters. So for example, Farouk is uh, the member of the Canada uh, and water professional chapter and Nietzsche is a member of the India chapter. And then in the international level, we have the steering committee and both needy, they are member of the current steering committee. Uh, so they represent all the young water professionals at in this international level. And here um, in the secretariat, my role is to connect all the community, all the young water professionals that are part of IWA, not only with the chapters, like creating new chapters, or for example, I, I have a, a young water professional for Argentina and he wants to connect with um, the chapter that we have there. So he reached out to me and I do the introductions. And the, the, other, uh, uh, the other way that 
I do this connection issue to receive all the demands from the young water professional and I pass them to the steering committee. And our community of uh, the young water professionals, what we want to do with this community is to engage them in the water sector and to empower them as a young water professional. So this means creating opportunities, but also ways that they can enhance their capacities by learning and learning with their peers and other um, uh, professionals from the water sector. And we do have a lot of chapters around the world. So here are the, some of the branded chapters that we have it. And the branded chapters, they are the ones that received most of the support from the IWA Secretariat. And we gave them a lot of engagement and exposure and also professional uh, development in terms of this. And one of the things that since the pandemic ended is that we are trying to, to have our young water professionals engage in not only in international forums in this international arena, but also in local forums. So this is one of some of the photos from our recently engagement in the international arena. Um, I was the head of the delegation from IWA and we went to the Shami So yes, I was in Tajikistan three, three weeks ago <laughs> with um, Jacob and Emily. They are uh, part of the, um, they're also part of the steering committee of the Young Water Professionals. And Farouk was able to join us uh, virtually during the Youth and Children Forum. Uh, so we are there not only representing IWA, uh, IWA objectives and, and, and mission, but also we are there as youth in this high level panel. So it is really important that as we are representing this um, considerable amount of young water professionals, we are also attending this forum and take into consideration and passing all their, their inputs in, in this um, international arena. Uh, Farouk, I will head over to you so you can share your personal. Thank you so much. Okay, are, are you still sharing the screen? Yeah, okay, that sounds great. So um, I'm going to be talking about my uh, career journey at IWA side, and also I'll be talking about the Canadian chapter and how we have um, uh, created it and when the, what the challenges, the opportunities, and everything. And for some reason, I cannot see the slides, Isabella. <laughs> so I hope that it is there. I think is it the yeah. chapter display? Yeah, but at least for me. Do you want to share this? Oh, yes. Thing? Now I see it. Now I see ah, it. Okay. okay <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. It was on my end to, to look at it. So, so yeah. So, just to start, uh, where did I start it, guys? Um, you know, for, for, for many of us, getting into a new association is very challenging. And like, oh, my God. Okay. What am I going to do? I'm going to look awkward. I'm going to look you know, that I don't know stuff and, and I don't even know what to do, right? And it's for all of us. So it started for me like that as well. I started with volunteering in the local conferences. So there was the International Young Water Professional Conference came to Canada and I started volunteering for it. I was like, okay, how about I lead your media? So I took a camera and, and taking some pictures and doing things that I was comfortable with, right? which is talking <laughs> and I went and talked to some people took some interviews and that's how I started my journey with IW and eventually I said I, I saw that oh my god I'm, I'm liking this you know to get engaged with people and get making networks and then it I met so many great people and it's all about just having the right people around you and we got together and we put a small proposal, which yeah, when you hear proposal, it's not like your PhD proposal or, or, or your work proposal. It, it was just a you know, simple couple of pages document and don't worry about it. That, oh, it's a proposal if you haven't <laughs> seen it. And, and we initiated the Young Water Professional Chapter in Canada. So that was in 2019 that uh, we went through this process, uh, myself and uh, a few of other young professionals in Canada, and uh, and I'm happy that I became the chair of the chapter, or we call it president, which is a fancy name, <laughs> and uh, it, it really 
an influence in my career a lot that I was able to, um, you know, just make, you know, strengthen my leadership leadership skills to the extent that you wouldn't imagine that I could lead so many things and then pandemic hit and I, I was able to, um, you know, just get self confidence to talk virtually with you guys like this right and without fear and so there was just so much that I learned by doing this. And then further after that I was like, Oh my God, this is so nice but I want to even go further to international level. And that's when I considered applying and uh, uh, becoming part of the Emerging Water Leaders Steering Committee, which is the, like the, the committee that manages uh, young water professional internationally. And Isabella just mentioned to that. And there was an election again with election. It's not like election in, in, in our uh, countries. Like it, it's just, you know, a simple way that, but at least you, you make sure that people in your region, they like you and you're not someone that they were like, why, what this, this person? So you want to uh, convey their words. And uh, I was lucky that I got selected, elected, sorry, uh, for the steering committee. And right now I'm here because of that, because uh, I'm the chapter coordinator. So the engagement started with very short level, with very uh, um, low level and very minimal volunteering, and then eventually to the national and international level, and who, who God knows what's going to be next. <laughs> so we'll see that. But um, all what I'm saying is, this is an example for you guys to see you don't have to be perfect and it's not um, end of the world and it's a very easy process. If I could do it with all other things that I had with my PhD, with my work um, and, 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 and family, I'm sure you guys can do it as well. So it, it's very, very easy and uh, inspiring to get engaged and you get a lot of this. Can you, can you please go to next uh, uh, slide? So, so now I talked about myself personally, that why as a person, as a young world professional, you should step into this and uh, um, how I benefited. But I also want to talk about our Canadian chapters and, and to give you a good example of uh, what you're going to be signing up and what you're going to be having in future if you decided to have a chapter. So in, in, in our YWP Canada, we initiated so many events that engage and, and connected so many young water professional in Canada from coast to coast. And, and most of you must know that and Canada is a big country, right? And, and we have, uh, we don't have big population. Our population is similar to Afghanistan. It's like 35 million people, but uh, it's a big country. So connecting people is a hustle <laughs> and geographically. And, um, we initiated many conferences, workshops, and webinars that gathered the people, brought them together, and uh, made an impact. We had also international uh, events that we easily connected with people from Europe, Asia, and uh, and all the other countries, and we could. Uh, uh, initiate collaborations internationally that doesn't really also been, doesn't only benefit you in your volunteering life but also in your career so many people got jobs from from the, these connections so many people came up with the um, work collaboration of opportunities so there were just lots of opportunities and uh, uh, networking happening in there and uh, on the other side uh, we also <laughs> sorry um had great executives and people who grow a lot so it, when i showed my career journey to you guys it wasn't only me so many people who came to uh volunteer for our chapter eventually they became they became board members and now even they're into the international level leading uh congress and conferences and and they just got to know that oh my god there is an association a chapter that welcome us no matter how little we know, no matter how much support we have. And the main goal of the chapter was to just empower young water professionals and take their hand and teach them how to be leaders. And I should mention that, guys, that trust me, in our work, how, no matter how much we're perfect, right? Yeah, we're gonna like get a job later and, and we're gonna be perfect in industry and technical, 
the soft skills are very important and not always we get that during our uh, professional uh, work where we get that through volunteering and in Canadian chapter we have learned that and we have uh, trained so many people in Canada to become leaders and we're so just proud of that so this was a great example for you guys and if you have any further question about how to create a chapter how to run a chapter how to start something and the and how to make connections, collaborations. I'm always there to answer your questions and uh, and take your hand and go with you and 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 do all the great great things together. Because I have a heart for Middle East because I was raised there, of course, and uh, I belong there. So so please feel free to reach out if you have any question about um, getting involved and engagement. Okay, thank you, Isabella. You can go next. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Farouk. So let me move in here. So um, we show you uh, some of the examples how the young water professions, they are connected from the international arena to the local arena. We had like Farouk saying and sharing her experience and how she developed uh, her capacities and abilities as a young water professional. So this is something that IWA does for all the young water professionals that are part of it. So the ways that you can engage with us as a young water professionals are via the chapters or being a member of the governing uh, members committee that they are the ones that are representing IWA in their country. Um, you should participate in the IWA young water professional group that we have on IWA Connect and sign up for the newsletter. Um, be part of the steering committee that we had it engage in organizing committees of events. I do send a lot of emails with opportunities, with uh, volunteers, um, with volunteer opportunities to be part of organizing committees, to attend uh, workshops and, and webinars, and uh, to connect with senior professionals uh, via the, the SGs and other affiliate programs. And most of this, um, I share via the newsletter. So you have my contact there. Yeah, you have the, the link to the um, uh, IWA Connect and the page on IWA Network that explain how the Young Water Professionals Commission works. And we also have a group on Facebook and on LinkedIn. Um, so they're like the main ways that you can reach out. And if you have any questions, any comments, and if you decide that you want to start a chapter in your country or you want to know if you if you already have a chapter, uh, you can reach out to me. And some of the questions that I've received that are, that I think that is important to to share is that is that okay? Uh, it's not because like I'm Brazil that, I, that I'm from Brazil. I can only be part of the young water professional chapter in Brazil. Um, Farouk also giving this example. She's a, she's from Afghanistan, but she's part of the chapter in Canada. So if you're studying in a different country or if you're living abroad, you can also get engaged with the chapter that we have there. So there are a lot of ways um, to connect and to be part of it. So now uh, we are open to discussions, to Q&A. And um, as I mentioned, we have uh, the Pakistan uh, that are doing the proposal. So. If Anik wants to share his experience, <laughs> feel free. And we also have Pitan from the Eden uh, chapter. So we have two examples of our, one is our already established chapter and the other one is starting the chapter now. So the floor is yours. So let me stop sharing here. Hello guys, hello everyone. Um, I really hope you all are doing great. And I am very much excited to finally see Dr. Isabella, whom I have been, you know, texting a lot of emails throughout the day, throughout the night, sending greetings all the way from Pakistan. Um, but yeah, uh, if you guys really want any kind of support, like I have never ever been disappointed despite of my busy schedule as a research assistant and an adjunct faculty member in one of the universities over here. Um, things get uh, a bit, you know, delayed in, in the course, but take your time, put your efforts in. And uh, I was literally surprised when Isabella um, 
uh, found out some valuable points and return with the comments. That is something, I'm, I mean, no one does that. So Eva is some, some place where you would really like to go. Um, and then finally, we are on the stage. We are just on the verge of starting a full-fledged Pakistan chapter. And with the help of all the fellow members over here, Iran, Afghanistan, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, I see a lot of them over here. And I really want to get in touch with all of you guys um, and really lead the road and, um, and make it a two-way transfer between all of us. Um, I don't know if, if, if I come in the MENA region, but uh, I, I'll just call that extended MENA region uh, because Niti and me are in the South Asian region. So, uh, uh, but still, uh, I would really love to uh, connect with all of the people out there and would, um, and would really be uh, looking forward for sharing any of the proceedings that we have been doing in Pakistan whether in terms of the accessibility issue, which is a very big issue, uh, the water management issue, the gender issue, the gender bias, because the women are left to, uh, you know, take care about the water, to fetch the water from the wells in Thar, Rajasthan, you name it. And that's equal for the Middle East region also. So um, we'll be just more than happy to, you know, get the things out there. Um, to you and uh, would expect a lot more from all of the uh, MENA fellow countries and chapters as well. Um, thank you for giving me the opportunity to talk here uh, and I leave the mic to Iran. <laughs> thank you, Anik. I think I can talk. So everybody else is, is looking. <laughs> uh, hello, everybody. Uh, I am thrilled to meet you here on this platform. Uh, as I mentioned before, I'm uh, water engineer from Afghanistan and now based in the Netherlands. Uh, I hold two uh, master degrees in this uh, sector. Uh, I have worked in Afghanistan uh, over the last 10 years uh, with different uh, international organizations and United Nations. Uh, so what I uh, can understand from where I live and how they uh, working experience in Afghanistan is that water issue is not uh, like a local issue, it's a regional issue and it needs a, a, a regional uh, solution. And I think it's a best platform here uh, to get together and uh, work for the uh, prosperity of our nations. So Afghanistan, as you know, we have like uh, shared water resources with the neighboring countries uh, because all those Hindu Kush glaciers located in the central uh, part of Afghanistan and then uh, water flow into the neighboring countries. Uh, recently, we had some issues with the Iran over the Helmand and uh, some uh, other uh, river basins. Uh, so that means that water is uh, very important in this region. And, uh, some part of our Indus, uh, which is also called Kabul River Basin in the upstream starts from Afghanistan. So I think uh, it's a, a good way that the water professionals get together here and uh, like how can we uh, make this, this inclusive for the governments that we start from here and then engage the government and uh, then come to a solution because you know water it's not just about drinking and living it's uh, a, a, a scarce source and uh, due to climate change uh, it's getting more precious and uh, conflicting. So at the same time, it gives us uh, a chance to get together, uh, bringing the nations together and at least uh, move toward peace and uh, to, 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 to development at the same time. So yeah, I would be happy to, to participate and to, if I can like provide any support to any group, I will be happy. Yeah, thanks. Thank you, Vahidullah. Um, I just Thank wanted you. to uh, mention something that I, I do agree with Vahidullah and Anik that, uh, yeah, we have lots of regional issues and a lot of political issues. <laughs> and uh, we're all here at the, as, a, as a citizens just mm -hmm. to forget about those political issues and come together because we don't want those. And uh, we're here to just develop our countries and to work for the best and, and be the voice of the youth. Mm -hmm. So by creating these chapters, you will be the voice of the youth. And, the, the youth. and uh, I think uh, from this call, what 
what our purpose was to facilitate you with um, asking the question of, of how can I do this, right? If you have a chapter already, you might ask, how do I start this? And if you don't have yet, you, will, you might ask, what's the very first step? Mm -hmm. what, where should I start? So these are the type of the thing that, that you want to go home and we want you to go home with knowing the answer for this. Mm -hmm. And yeah, leaving that there for you to think about it and make your question accordingly. Uh, Muhammad, you have a question. Uh, hi, hi everybody. So uh, my name is Harun. Um, sorry, I didn't change the uh, Zoom title. Um, I'm based sorry. in the UAE and uh, so I've been in touch with some of the guys from IWA for a while now, but uh, this is a nice place to specifically ask about chapters and stuff. Mm -hmm. So um, when when you say starting a chapter, does that mean there have to be, I mean, I I, I'm, I, I don't know, I don't even know of the first step. Does, does, do they have to have enough members in this country to start a chapter or what's like the prerequisite before we even get there, right? Okay, so this is easy. <laughs> this is easy guys, question. So basically, um, we need your engagement and your availability to, to carry on the tasks with the chapter. We have two types of chapters. We have a branded chapter and a non-branded chapter. Mm -hmm. uh, the branded chapters are the one that receives the support, the logo and the accessibility to all the activities with IWA. So, Nietzsche and Farouk, they are part of uh, a branded chapter. Aniki's proposal is for uh, a branded chapter. And Pesman from Iran is a branded chapter. This means that they have at least three members being IWA member. So if you want to be uh, uh, three, <laughs> so if you want to be a branded chapter, uh, your chapter needs at least three members with IWA membership. And uh, if they have the membership, they, this means that they will be also the ones that are able to vote for the steering committee. We only remember that I mentioned at the beginning that we have the international uh, part that the steering committee represents. So if you want to be part of the steering committee or if you want to vote for, for their member, we just get the elections uh, like one month uh, ago, um, you need to be a member. Okay. Okay. And if you want to start uh, the chapter, the first thing that you have to do is send me an email <laughs> uh, saying, I want to start a mem uh, the chapter. I have some colleagues that they are uh, really keen to be part of this. And then I will go over step by step on what kind of document that you needed, uh, the proposal uh, that you need to submit it to us and all the documents that we need from you. All right. Okay, and so the YWP age limit is 35, is it? Yeah, it's 35, 35. that we have it. It's the age limit. Okay. And we hate to say that always. Yeah. <laughs> People <laughs> feel awkward, especially myself. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do have this age limit and we know that other countries, they have different ones. Uh, but for, for RWA, young water professors are until 35. All right. So you see, um, Mohammed. Oh, sorry, I forgot your name. Um, it was <laughs> Harun. It's it, Harun. It, it was. It's pretty easy. We started the Kenyan chapter with three members as well, and now we're probably about at least twenty-five members that who who just who, who are IW members. But the, and we do have like two thousand people following us and signing up for our newsletter. Uh, so it's very easy. Just you got. You need three people to be willing to put effort and get the membership. That's it. Okay, all right. So um, after this meeting, like I think you said, Isabella, that um, if you want to take this discussion further, we get in touch with you through email, right? Yes. Okay. I all am right. muted, sorry. <laughs> yes, <laughs> mail. I can type my mail um, in the chat so you can send me. And if you don't have, um, if you don't know any other colleagues that want to be part of IWA, I can reach out to uh, members from IWA in your country and see if they are also keen to, to start a chapter with you, okay? Okay, and as a chapter, do you have like a set of activities you do through the year or? Um... Yes, yeah, so with the proposal that, it, uh, that you have to submit it, you have to inform what kind of activity 
and how we are going to contribute with IWA Vision. So your chapter, when she focused on, on webinars, on, on capacity building activities, on engaging with other chapters, everything you have to put in the proposal. And I'm oh. going to review it and, and add some comments and, and see what, it, it, uh, what you can work, and especially in terms of the timeline. So every year, the chapters, they have to submit it, the work plan and the report from the activities. This is the main commitment that they have to do with us. So in January, I start sending emails to all the chapters saying you have until uh, usually March to send the work plan and the report. The work plan is what you're planning for the week, for the, um, the year. And the report is uh, related to the activities that you carried out in, in, the, in the previous year. Okay. Well, okay. Well, makes sense. Okay. okay. So we well, have- Thank you. I guess that's it for me for now and probably uh, I'll get in touch with you again. Okay, Harun. So we have right. Kalut. Yeah. I just wanted to ask a little bit more about, um, you know, the branded versus non-branded. I already like understood what branded a branded chapter is, but I didn't catch what did you say about like a non-branded chapter. Non-branded chapter, they are usually restricted to our university ones. Uh, they are not IWA members. They don't have access to the logo because all the chapters that we have with IWA, they have their own logos that they use it. For, for their events. So they are really like the partners with IWA. If you're non-branded, um, you don't have the same support from the secretariat. So and what you, kind of support do they have? Um, almost none for us. So they don't, they are not allowed to use the, the logos. Uh, they can just mention that, that they are non-branded um, IWA uh, chapter. That's okay. why we don't recommend that if you want to start the chapter that you start as a non-branded, we suggest that you start as a branded one because you have access to more of the opportunities. For example, if we have a call for, for young water professionals to join um, an organizing committee, priorities will be given to the chapters that are branded. Okay. So this is a bit random, but why, why would somebody go for the non-branded if you guys recommend a branded one just from so, your experience yeah uh, sometimes they don't have the financial need to, to pay the membership oh okay that's that's the main that's the main uh issue okay that makes sense thank you you're welcome so do we have any other questions because we are almost running out of time <laughs> Maybe just one question, like uh, uh, the information regarding this uh, branded chapters and all the requisites. Uh, if there is any possibility to share like written documents that we can also share with other people who are interested. Mm -hmm. uh, all the information is available on my IWA website that I shared the link here, but you can also send me an email and I, I can go over um, the steps with you. Okay, thank you. Sorry, I just have one more question, if that's fine. Um, because like Qatar is a, like a dot on the map, it's a very tiny country. I was wondering, um, do you guys have the option of like a regional sort of um, wide? To be honest, like... I was thinking of the same thing. <laughs> so, um, in... sorry, you can continue. <laughs> No, I was just saying, so instead of me trying to find like three people in Qatar, maybe it can be three people from the GCC or three people from the MENA region, and then it's going to be like a MENA chapter instead of like a Qatari chapter. If that makes sense. Uh, there's also this possibility of creating regional chapters. Um, it's not an easy um, thing to do because if you already have a chapter uh, created in the region, uh, the regional chapter would need to get involved with the chapter so we can also incorporate um, all the activities that are being carried out. So we are in discussions of creating a regional chapter in Latin American Caribbean. But to do this, we have to get all the chapters that are already formed in Latin American Caribbean to be part of this chapter. 
Okay. And this means getting approval from all the government members and having a kind of uh, similarity with all the proposals from each of the chapter. So it is a lot of work. It's okay. Sometimes they have different interests and they're aiming for different things. Okay. Great, thank you for letting me know. You're this welcome. So as we are running out of time, as usual with <laughs> our, <laughs> of, I mean that all of our events, we with Young Water Professions, we run off time because we have a lot to discuss and things that we want to share and we definitely want to connect with you. So <laughs> as we are talking about um, opportunities, um, some of you might already know, but we are organizing the World Water Congress and exhibition. It's going to be on Denmark and uh, Copenhagen. And the early bid uh, registration ends today. And I do recommend that you take part into this conference uh, if you're um, available uh, to do, because during the, the Congress, we are organizing, um, Part of the Blades is the main uh, conference. This is the main international conference for uh, young water professionals. It's called the Emerging Water Leaders Forum. And this is a day that we discuss um, all the things uh, and we have exclusive forum for young water professional. This is the time that you have to connect in person with other chapters and, and share your insights and perspectives with them. And Farouk and Nietzsche are also helping me to organize this, uh, this forum. And yeah, we are quite excited with it because it's the first in-person meeting that we have after two years. With yep. the pandemic, <laughs> so you can imagine how we are preparing a lot of things. And if you want to be a member from IWA or if you want to renew your membership, uh, you can use the discount code and you have 20% of discount. Okay. This is the website that you have to go to to join the network. And thank you all. Don't worry about the anything? slides. We will share the slides, right? Yeah, the we slide? will share the slides. Yeah. I will share the slides on the same page that you register. So you can use okay. the same link also to access the recording from today. Yeah, all the links will be shared, so no worries. Okay, Isabella, do you want to take a screenshot? So yes, I do. Turn on your cameras. Okay, yeah. Do the hair. Fix your hair. The perfume and everything. <laughs> You know, in Afghanistan, we have the saying, go get the perfume. <laughs> <laughs> so let me get mine here. And Everyone looks great except me. You know why? Because it's early morning. It's, I haven't had even breakfast. I barely just got out of it and run. <laughs> <laughs> and this is not fair. <laughs> okay. Got one. Perfect. Farouk, did you take some from your side? I, no, I didn't. I was talking the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I I can't take it, uh, Isabella. Oh. Where is my yes? I'm gonna just smile. You take it again. <laughs> <laughs> All done. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. So thank you everyone for for joining. I will add this uh, the screenshots from today um, in the presentation slide, so we also have access to it via the presentation. Okay. Yeah, feel free to stick around for a couple of more minutes to share your LinkedIn in the chat, yeah. get connected to each other because you, I'm sure definitely you want to get some connections here and make sure that you know who are the young water professionals around you in Middle East. So feel free to do that right now. We're going to leave the uh, the link open for probably like three, four minutes yeah. so you can connect with each other. And thank you everyone for coming. Yeah, if you need to leave, you can leave. Thank you very much. Thanks everyone. Very nice to meet you all. And we'll keep connected over LinkedIn. Yeah, but you're smiling there too. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for organizing this. So, thank, thank you. you. Hello, Niti. May I speak with you? 
Uh, sure. Yeah, this is Mustakim uh, from New Delhi. Actually, I'm studying in Kaos, King Abdullah University of Science and Technology in Saudi Arabia. So I'm here in uh, India. So I was thinking uh, to know more about India chapter. So how I can get more information about that? Uh, sure. Um, I will quickly uh, type my email and let's connect there. 